They are interesting, captivating, or as our author likes to say, fascinating. 100 fascinating Louisville women. I was hoping they would make an exception and include me as the lone male. No. But alas, author Nancy Miller <laughs> said, ah, sorry, pal. So we're, uh, we're spotlighting the 100 fascinating Louisville women you're about to hear about. Now, hello, Nancy Miller. Hello. Hey. Hello. It is a you pretty know, book. Oh, go ahead. We were thinking of calling it 100 Fascinating Louisville Women and Terry Miners. Oh, that was the original title. It, it was. It was just <laughs> Nancy said we have to cut this just a little I bit. I can assure you this is an outstanding selection seated right next to me. This woman is fascinating. We're going to show her she picture. Made, no, no I was saying they said no Terry Miners, but we'll throw in Rachel for a good measure. No. That's what they decided. And I joked at the beginning of the show that that I saw Rachel in bed. We're going to show that Sorry. photo in a few minutes. Shocking. That I've seen Just Rachel in shocking. bed. There was a reason you did the interview right as I had come off the morning show, and I said, that's "Oh, right. I get to sleep in for once in my life." So that's why we did this. How did you winnow this down to 100 women? It was very difficult. I bet. Really, very difficult. We could have certainly had 200 or more women, but we tried to get a real diverse section of women, uh, people who are well known. A lot are not well known, but their stories are, are truly fascinating. And the women were very generous with their time and uh, sharing their lives. They opened up and their lives. And all different backgrounds. Let's start yeah. like right here. That's Julie McWhorter. She is a pediatric anesthesiologist. And she just told about her work and, and you know, the time that she spends saving the lives of very, very oh, critically yeah. ill uh, children. Just amazing what an angel she is. Hollis Starks, she is a delightful woman. I don't think I've ever seen Hollis when she wasn't glowing and giggling and smiling. She was just terrific. And tell that, us what she does in case people don't know. She is now a wedding planner. Uh -huh. That picture is it's just beautiful. phenomenal. The positioning, From the John color. Nation, we should say. John His, Nation's yeah. work is always phenomenal. John Nation is just a, such a treasure. He's Did he a shoot all the photos, Nancy? Every single one of them. And Hilk Harcourt was the designer. There's my so, hero. Oh, yeah. Love Tori Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There she is in her pearls. Of course. Yes. The only woman who rose in pearls, and we love that. <laughs> and every time you talk to her, you learn something. You do. Not just about life, but about her about and why her. she is so fascinating. There's Elaine Chow, was yes. Secretary of Labor under mm -hmm. President George W. Bush, and a fascinating mm -hmm. woman. Her story of her family coming to America is really astounding. It is. It is a riveting story. And she was so wonderful meeting her and telling um, about her experiences and sharing those with us. All right. Ooh. That is Stacy Bathrick. She is a lieutenant colonel in the Army. And talk about someone, it just really brings tears to your eyes listening to her talk about serving her country for 20 years. She was in Afghanistan and several other places. And the content of it, we should say that you asked questions and everybody answered, but no story is the same, no question is the same, and that's what I love about it. So it's all different, peppered throughout the book. And what yes. a gorgeous picture here. That is Jay Shri Amin. She is one of the founders of the Hindu temple here in Louisville. Oh. And she talks about her religion. She also talks about growing up in India. She grew up in a very, very wealthy family. They had servants uh, that did everything for them, even pour their milk. Oh, for she, That's sake. such a distinguished look she Sarah has. Sarah Fritchner. Is that Sarah? Yeah. Is our girl we know Sarah. Her the CJ. Sarah? We love Sarah. Fritchner with her horse. She loves her horse. Yes. She talks about the... Yay, uh, Renee! The yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Renee's now on maternity leave, but that's right. we're thinking of her. Yeah. So she's juggling three. That's her juggling everything in her life right there. <laughs> she has a lot to juggle right now. Yeah. Yeah. Renee's one sure. of those friendly voices I see when I walk yeah. in. And there's Rachel Platt in bed, and ladies I said, and gentlemen. I did the goofy picture, <laughs> and then I look at all these other exquisite pictures of women, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should rethink that. Not at all. We've had more comments about your picture. Oh, I bet you And have. your revelation. Terry, so, do you know what she said? She said, what is your one tacky indulgence? Your, your guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure. What do you, do you think know I read is? is my guilty pleasure? making that noise with her armpit? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Not quite. Well, maybe worse. I don't know. It's much worse than I that. I reveal that I often sometimes read the National Enquirer. I bought it for my wife the other night. She I love it. She's tacky reading. <laughs> but she does not read the globe. That's lowbrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. Thank you for having me reveal that. Not so fascinating anymore. But so much fun. And we want to say, what is your website in case people want to go to it? It is 100flw.com. We are tweaking it today, but it lists all the stores where it's available. Wonderful. We'll give a few mm -hmm. of those. Thank you so right. much. Yeah, Thank it's you. really so pretty, much. pretty it's, book. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And that book is called 100 Fast. 
vaccinating Louisville women on sale at various places, including Barnes & Noble as well as Carmichael's. Also, places like Taste of Kentucky, Work the Metal, and Sister Dragonfly on Frankfurt Avenue. That's right. Thank you so much, Nancy. We Thank appreciate you. it.